Hey guys, Toast here. Today we're going to review and discuss the Gewehr M95, a bolt-action rifle available for 200 warbonds per variant for the Scout class in Battlefield 1. We'll discuss the stats of each of the different variants, attachments, the situations in which the weapon excels, and some tips when playing with this particular weapon. The Gewehr M95 comes in three different variants, Infantry, Carbine, and Marksman. Unlike most other scout rifles, all three variants have a maximum damage of 95 instead of 100, and a minimum damage of 79 instead of 80. This is because the Gewehr M95 does not follow the standard damage arch that we see for most scout rifles. Instead of starting below the minimum damage and eventually reaching a sweet spot, the Gewehr M95 starts dealing maximum damage at point-blank range out to 20 meters, and slowly drops off to its minimum damage at 125 meters. Because of this, none of the three variants are capable of getting a one-shot body shot kill at any range, but are all capable of getting a one-shot headshot kill at all ranges. Where the limb modifiers would normally have a pretty significant impact on most scout rifles, they're less pronounced on this one because it's never capable of a one-shot body shot kill. All variants have a muzzle velocity of 620 meters per second, which is really quite low for a scout weapon, but it does have a rate of fire of 66 rounds per minute, making it one of the highest rate of fire weapons with only the Russian 1895 Trench and the M1903 Experimental being higher. All three variants have five rounds available prior to needing to be reloaded, and are reloaded with a strip clip of five rounds regardless of how many shots you have remaining, taking a total of three seconds for both a short and long reload. Where the variants differ are in the sights, recoil, and spread. The infantry variant has the best recoil decrease and spread decrease, allowing you to take more accurate follow-up shots, helping to make the best use of the weapon's higher than average rate of fire. The Carbine variant has better ADS spread while moving, which is typical of most weapons in the game that have optical sights, however it also has the best hipfire spread of the three variants at a nearly 45% reduction. Interestingly, the Marksman variant actually doesn't offer any single statistic that's better than the other two variants. In fact, it always matches the lower statistic of the Infantry or the Carbine variant. The attachments for the Gewehr M95 don't differ much from what we've seen from similar variants of other scout rifles. The infantry variant is the only one that offers iron sights. You have the option of two different types of iron sights, both standard and radium. The magnifications range from 1x up to 2x, and you have the option of attaching a bayonet for melee kills. The carbine variant has an optical sight offering two circular and two cross reticles. The magnifications of this variant range from 1.25x up to 2.5x, and you can attach a bayonet. The Marksman variant has a mid-range Marksman scope, offering four types of reticles, either cross, chevron, beam, or post. The magnifications of this variant range from 2.5x up to 4x, and like the other two, you can attach a bayonet. The Gewehr M95 is a really solid close to mid-range rifle for the Scout class, but while it's capable of being used at long range, there are much better options if you're going to be doing some distance shooting. Its higher than average rate of fire gives it solid follow-up potential. The fact that you always reload 5 bullets regardless of how many you have left means that you rarely will be left without any rounds available. And the fact that it deals its maximum damage starting at point blank and has a really slow drop-off means that you'll always be doing a solid damage at close to mid-range. If you want to play the Scout class aggressively, this is a really great option. If you want to sit back and take long distance shots, there are definitely better options available. Because this weapon never deals 100 damage to the body, your headshot accuracy is going to be really important while using it. Where other scout rifles have a sweet spot, the Gewehr M95 has no such luck, so the only way you'll be getting a one-shot kill is to either go for a headshot or find a target that's already been injured. This, combined with the lower than average muzzle velocity and lack of a true long-range scope, are really the reasons that you don't want to use this weapon for long-distance shooting. You can of course occasionally take long-range shots, but know that you'll likely be out-sniped by most other scout rifles. While your secondary weapon choice is always important with the Scout class, because this weapon caters to close to mid-range and doesn't have a one-shot body shot capability, your secondary weapon choice is going to be paramount. At medium range, you have fast enough follow-up capability to get off a second shot, but at close range, you're going to be better served to swap to your secondary. I personally recommend a faster firing secondary weapon because you're going to be doing around 90 to 95 damage at close range, so you should really only need one round to finish them off. 
the M1911, MLE-1903, P08, and C93 have all served me well as secondaries to the Gewehr M95. If you do end up taking distant shots, prepare yourself to lead your target more than with other scout rifles. I found it actually took me a while to get used to how much I had to lead with the Gewehr M95 because you have to lead more than with almost all other scout rifles, but much less than with the Martini Henry which I've personally been using a lot lately. Also keep in mind that if you're trying to counter snipe, you may actually be better served by just moving on to something else because you're likely to be less equipped than the enemy scout. While the iron sights on the infantry variant are certainly usable, they're not the most ideal as the point at the end is a little bit thicker than what you'd want for the most accurate fire. If you're running this particular variant, you'll be fine for close to mid-range targets, but you'll likely have a very difficult time lining up any long-range shots, so if you're on a larger map and think you might possibly go for some of those longer shots, the carbine or marksman variant may better serve you. Now I want to know how you feel about using the Gewehr M95. Do you like the weapon and feel it's viable? Or do you feel that there are other options that may be a better choice for the Scout class? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.